The numbers are staggering. It was estimated that 57 million people worldwide were living with dementia in 2019. By 2050, that number is projected to hit 153 million. Dementia is a heartbreaking reality for a lot of people. It slowly erases memories, identities. Dementia also doesn't just affect the individual, it ripples through families, relationships, and imposes emotional and financial burdens too. But we are not powerless when it comes to our brain health. It's definitely a complex issue with a lot of factors in play, but this paper that we're going to dive into emphasizes that we have control more than we might think. According to the 2024 Lancet Commission report, 45% of all dementia cases could be prevented by addressing these 14 risk factors. And even if dementia does develop, it will still mean less severity and fewer years lived with the disease. For those of you who haven't heard of this report, let me tell you why this is such a big deal. The Lancet Commission Report on Dementia Prevention, Intervention, and Care is a comprehensive study involving many world-leading dementia experts from various countries and institutions. This all-star team of brain health experts reviewed decades of research and put together this incredible roadmap for understanding and preventing dementia. They emphasize the importance of adopting a life course approach, suggesting that we should aim to decrease risk factor levels as soon as possible and maintain them throughout life. This also means that even if you've been inactive for a while, it's never too late to start making positive changes. The research article discusses nuances and study limitations that you can read in the actual paper linked in the description below. What I'm going to share is a summary of the 14 modifiable risk factors of dementia. You will see how these risk factors overlap and influence one another. Then we'll focus on what you can do right now to protect your brain health. The first modifiable risk factor, education and cognitive activity. Less education is linked to increased dementia risk. And the more educational attainment you have, like having a college and graduate degree, is linked to a decreased risk of getting dementia. This is because people with more education tend to have more cognitive stimulation and these people also tend to have better financial situations, so they have more choices about where to live. They are also more likely to be in better physical health because they have more access to health care, more health awareness, and they practice other health-promoting behaviors. But even for people who receive little formal education earlier in life, midlife cognitive activity can still make a difference in reducing dementia risk. So if you're still in school, make the most of it. If you're not in school anymore, prioritize lifelong learning. So like constantly challenging your brains, learning new things, staying curious. Our brains thrive on novelty, on stimulation, whether you're learning a new language, picking up a new hobby, or just reading a good book. All of those things keep our brains active and engaged. The second one is hearing loss. Hearing loss can lead to social withdrawal and cognitive decline. Hearing loss is also associated with accelerated brain atrophy, meaning the brain shrinks faster. So protect your ears from harmful noise levels as much as possible. Avoid blasting music at high levels on your headphones. Get regular hearing checkups and use hearing aids if needed. The report says that treating hearing loss, particularly using hearing aids, appears to be effective in reducing dementia risk. The third one is depression. Depression is both a risk factor and also a symptom of dementia. The mechanism that links depression to dementia is unknown. But it could be that depression leads to destructive behaviors, less self-care, and social contact. Seek treatment for depression from qualified professionals through therapy and or medication. Maintain a strong social network and participate in activities that can boost your mood and mental health. The fourth one is traumatic brain injury, or TBI. Direct damage to brain tissue increases your risk for dementia. Sure, that's very obvious. In low to middle income countries, TBI occurs usually because of road traffic accidents. But in high income countries, TBI is most commonly due to falls or violence, with alcohol being a common contributory factor. But it's not just the major head injuries. Repeated micro head injuries also increase dementia risk. An example would be contact sports like boxing, football, soccer, too, among others. 
Use helmets and protective gear in sports and high-risk activities. Avoid situations that could lead to head injuries and ensure proper recovery and rehabilitation if you have a TBI. Number five, smoking. It's not just about your lungs. Smoking accelerates cognitive decline and increases dementia risk through damage in the blood vessels, chronic inflammation, and neurotoxicity that may directly damage brain cells. Studies have shown that smokers tend to have smaller brain volumes than non-smokers. The solution is simple but may be easier said than done for those that do smoke. Quit smoking. Seek support through cessation programs, counseling, or medication. Another way is to replace smoking with healthier habits like exercise or meditation. Number six, physical inactivity. Regular exercise is good for your brain at any age. It improves blood flow to the brain, improves blood pressure, and increasing nitric oxide in your body and reduces inflammation. Lack of exercise is linked to smaller brain volumes and cognitive decline. The recommendation is to aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week. Examples are brisk walking, cycling, ballroom dancing, and water aerobics. Number seven is high LDL or bad cholesterol. High LDL cholesterol contributes to vascular dementia. What to do? First, discuss with your medical provider to get your cholesterol checked regularly. Maintain a heart-healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Exercise regularly, like mentioned before, and manage your weight. In certain situations, your doctor may prescribe medication if your lifestyle changes aren't enough. Number eight, diabetes. Diabetes can significantly impact brain health through various mechanisms. It increases the risk of vascular problems. Chronic high blood sugar levels may in interfere with brain function, accumulate harmful compounds in the brain. It particularly affects small blood vessels, potentially leading to cognitive decline. To mitigate this, early detection and proper management of diabetes is crucial. This would include maintaining good blood sugar control through a combination of diet, exercise, and prescribed medications if needed. Number nine is hypertension or high blood pressure. Just like the other cardiovascular risk factors like smoking, having high LDL, obesity, and diabetes, high blood pressure can also lead to vascular dementia. How so? Chronic high blood pressure can damage small blood vessels in the brain, which can result to white matter lesions and small imparts. These are like micro strokes in the very small blood vessels of your brain. Hypertension also increases your risk of a major stroke, which can cause dementia. So monitor your blood pressure regularly. The report recommends keeping your systolic blood pressure or the upper number of your blood pressure reading below 130. The recommendations are the same as with the other heart disease risk factors. So adopting lifestyle changes like a high fiber or heart healthy diet that is rich in whole fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and exercise. As you can see, what's healthy for your heart is also healthy for your brain. And if lifestyle changes aren't enough, your doctor may prescribe medication if needed. Number 10 is obesity. Obesity is associated with diabetes, high LDL, and hypertension, therefore increases your dementia risk. The recommendations are similar to the last five risk factors I mentioned earlier, healthy diet, exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight. Number 11 is excessive alcohol consumption. Heavy drinking is linked to increased dementia risk and reduced brain volume. An important thing to note here is that alcohol-induced loss of consciousness or Drinking to the point of passing out increases dementia risk in people. So limit your alcohol intake. Be mindful of your consumption. And also, to reduce your risk of heart disease and cancer, it's best to just stop it. Seek professional help if you struggle with moderation or quitting it. Number 12 is social isolation. Lack of social interaction can lead to cognitive decline. While good social contact in any form benefits your brain by building cognitive reserve, promoting healthy behaviors and reducing inflammation. Loneliness and social isolation can increase your stress levels and the risk of depression, both of which are associated with increased dementia risk. Also, social isolation coincides with other poor lifestyle habits like not getting enough physical activity or eating an unhealthy diet. People who are socially isolated may also be prone to these behaviors, therefore increases the risk of developing dementia. Cultivate a strong social network, build good relationships, connect with friends and family, 
engage in community activities to stay connected and mentally stimulated. Number 13 is air pollution. Exposure to certain air pollutants, particularly fine particulate matter, can directly damage neurons and cause neuroinflammation. So if you live in busy cities, use air purifiers at home. Or if you want, consider having indoor plants for their air purifying properties. Other recommendations include avoid exercising outdoors during peak pollution times or in high traffic areas. Also, we can help to support policies that aim to reduce air pollution in your community. The last one is untreated visual loss. Vision problems can be linked to underlying health issues that increase dementia risk, like diabetes. Aside from that, Having eye problems also limits a person's ability to engage in cognitively stimulating activities like reading. People with visual impairment tend to have less social interaction because they usually like to stay at home. Of course, they have less physical activity because of fear of falling or difficulty navigating environments. Recommendations? Get regular eye exams and address any vision problems promptly. Ensure access to corrective lenses or treatments as needed. By addressing these 14 modifiable risk factors, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing dementia. Don't delay. Your health is the foundation for your success. Take proactive steps today and protect your brain from dementia.